Blessings, friends. Yesterday we saw a video regarding how to select an object for split containers or split pots, whatever you name it. Today I have done a ritual to cleanse the object. The object we have selected is a tiger eye skull, as I said, as I showed you yesterday. So cleansing demands various processes and various paths cleanse the particular object by various methodologies. We need an universal methodology and universal which can be applied by all universally. We don't need to cleanse an object using the four elements plus the fifth element spirit. Actually, gemstones require each and every ge gemstone to be cleansed in a particular manner. But since we are already I have cleansed my tiger eye skull, but this video is mainly based on the housing. So, I later on catch you regarding how to cleanse the gemstones. So, cleansing an object can be done effectively by using the elemental water, by using the water's energy. By the help of the archetypal energies of water, we can cleanse and also we can energize the particular object which we are going to use for the split housing. Cleansing is more important that removes the previous imprints and it makes the object ready for the forthcoming incantations or imprints. I have energized this water. Uh, actually, there is a whole lot of day, the full of rain and now it's uh, sun shining. I already filled this pot more than half using the rain water which has came from the heaven. So as, as I said, we should be very um, careful in using the sympathetic methodologies in various tantric techniques. So I used the water from the heaven and I used various river waters and the sea water and this fetish is called as Nirbudalam in Hindu religion. In, uh, in Tamil it is called as Nirbudalam and it is used extent vastly for um, fertility rituals in Hindu tantric system. I have made an ocean fetish using this special herb. So I invoked the power of ocean previously before taking the video and also various deities like Yamaya, Metagua, Metagwe and also the Lord Varna's energy and various rivers energy. More particularly the most prized the Ganges energy into this pot for the purification of this housing. This even I used various methodologies from various traditions including runes. You will see in the photographs you can understand how to do that. We must impregnate this water with the divine forces, the divinity forces so that this water becomes an elixir. It does both cleansing and energizing the particular housing which you are going to imprint with the, with the demon, angel or whatever you name it. For example, if you take rune, I use the force of Lagus from the cosmic, from the, from the universe that which helps to bring down the cosmic energies of water towards this water, towards this pot. So, you can see in the photo how I tap the Lagu's energy. There are so many incantations using by, for using the runes. And also, I used various tantric processes, tantric steps that is originated in Hindu Tantras. For example, like this.
to change the particular water into an elixir. And also various incantations you can do to energize with water by impregnating the divine forces into it. We can, an incantation is demanded to impregnate this water by your desire. It operates both as a cleansing and also energizing. So, there are various methodologies involved in making an ordinary water into an elixir and for a particular ritual which paves the way for divinic forces to come inside this housing. And also, we can impregnate this water using our chakrit energies. For example, we can impregnate this water by the Swadhisthana force, the force of Swadhisthana, the force of chakra, Swadhisthana chakra into it. It governs more of the water energy, the water, water's elemental energy. For example, And also, we can impregnate the elemental water energy, the cosmic water energy into this water, in this container, by using some occult practices. It can be both shamanic or can be Tibetan, Taoist or whatever it may be. So, main purpose is to convert this water into an elixir. So after the required impregnation and also we can bless this water using the various fertility deities like Oshun or the deity of sea, ocean, Emaya or Mechagwe, whatever it may be, you can bring down the energies into, into this pot so that this becomes an elixir and by which we can Cleanse the body object. Here, even by pouring over it, I incorporate the Swat Mutra and the Varna Mudra for banishing and also energizing with the help of water. So after this, we are tomorrow we can see the next step. It's a universal approach. So it doesn't require other elements demand to clean cleanse this object. Using water, we can energize, we can cleanse. And also we can energize this particular object which are going to this is housing. So energizing, cleansing and energizing is the next step with our intent, the next step in the preparation of the split housings. So later I will also show how to cleanse this using the other forces of elements which I find redundant, is not required. So the purification then yeah, my Master, my guru, always says the best purification method is only two things. One is through, we can do through water 
unto through um, air element, incenses, fragrances. So these are the best methodology. These best things that can be used, best elementals that can be used to cleanse any object. But I have cleansed and I energized. I prepared. I have concentrated so many objects and I have made so many housings successfully only using by cleansing them cleansing using this water element so just cleanse the object with an holy water or ordinary water that is transformed elixir using various incant that various mudras various invocation and evocation procedures and also various uh, energy measures the water it can which has been transformed into elixir can be used to clean this object so use suppose we cannot do this mudras or the, you cannot invoke the cosmic fertility cosmic water elementals or the divine which governs the water elemental you can just use the rain water or the rivers that flow through the mountains or that is blessed by the blessed by your masters or that will transform the elixir the purpose of and help of uh, occult practitioners or you can use some water river water that has been culturally determined as a more holy as they say in india the ganges so you can use such a waters readily and you can keep it under sun rising sun for few hours then you can cleanse the object this is for now so tomorrow we can see the next stage in cleansing the housing, I mean, in preparing the housing, and we can move on, go on, we can travel and see how an effective spit pots or spit containers is done by in a powerful way 